Hello, thanks for choosing StreamingChurch.tv for your streaming video needs. I'm Phil Thompson, going to show you how you can configure your vMix live encoder. Well, the first thing you need to do, if you, if you have not done it yet, is go to vMix.com. And uh, then once you get there, go to the vMix live production software area and click download. Now, uh, it'll take a minute or so for this to download. vMix only works with uh, PC, Windows. They do not have a... Um, Mac version right now. They don't have anything else, but that's uh, that's what you go with. But we like it. We like vMix a lot. There's a free 60-day trial. There's a very, very inexpensive paid version, and there's even some upgrades. So once you have downloaded this, just go ahead and uh, open it up. And there I am. Hello. I've already configured a couple things. So you need to make sure that you've got a video capture device or video capture card. You've got your camera or cameras plugged into that already, as well as feeding your audio into your computer. And then over here is where you have your inputs. Now, I've already added, if you go to the little arrow here, you can add things like color bars, which I already have, uh, your DVD, whatever. Uh, different videos that you may have all you want to have already load in here. Uh, when you click add input, this is where you would choose your cameras. You would choose your uh, audio settings here and uh, lots of good things you can just play around with. Then, uh, and by the way, this is where you can switch things around here. Uh, it's got a nice little transition stuff here you can do. So uh, you can play around with this later. But what you really want to know is how to set the credentials. So go ahead down here where it says stream. Hit the little gear box. A window pops up. You will be at the default setting. Uh, there are other streams you can put in here, but let's just go with the basic right now. Stream 1, destination. You want to choose streamingchurch.tv from this destination. Uh, list. From there, we provide you a username. If you've uh, asked for your credentials, made a free trial, uh, you've, you've been given a username, you've been given a password, you want to enter that password, and then you want to hit login and update channels, If you, uh, which I just did there. If you've got the wrong credentials, it will give you an error. Channels default at this point. Input size, that's uh, what's coming into this encoder. I've set mine for 320 by 240. It's a little gearbox you can click to, to get uh, other uh, settings. Uh, you can go with the frame rate, 29.97 is good. Uh, quality, this is important. Quality is very important. Uh, you have a little drop down here, and you can choose from a list of quality settings. If you have something, we offer several plans, a basic plan. You have to have an under 1,000 kilobytes per second. So uh, notice the 400 kbps, kilobytes per second, all right? That's, that's, that's kind of a low stream, but that will work with 360p. No problem there. Um, you can also customize the quality settings by clicking this as well. So, uh, but just do a speed test. Make sure your upload speed at your church is good or wherever you're streaming from. And you want to be significantly under that upload speed when you're streaming because that's what you're streaming at. You're sending stuff up. Application should be FM MPEG. All right. That's what you should choose. And then once you're done, you can just hit save and close. And then all you got to do is hit the red, the, the, the stream button here and uh, it will light up yellow and then it will eventually go to red and that's a good thing if it's not working it will let you know there's uh, also a way you can get your status here uh, as well uh, by clicking view status there and that'll give you an idea on uh, on what the, the encoder is doing, gives you a little read out there, all right? So uh, just go to your platform, streamingchurch.tv platform. You can see and hear your video. If you have questions on this or anything else, we can certainly help you. Just go to streamingchurch.tv or send us an email at support at streamingchurch.tv. I'm Phil Thompson. Have a great day.